it's hard to not be like swallowed whole by it and not be like in a deep depression you still have to press on and just you know give god thanks for another day and just stay prayed up pray over your family pray over your kids pray over your loved ones pray over your husband hey guys hey fam welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be a little bit of a different tone there's just been so much going on i just felt the need to talk to you guys and all that's been going on too has kind of just caused me to not be posting as regularly as i should be i'm also in the middle of studying so that is like a big number one i'm not gonna make this video very long but i kind of feel the need to touch base on this because i know it's affecting a lot of people this platform on a whole is just used to um share and show like positive um, you know po a lot of positive vibe and um, good energy and just like realness and rawness and this is a very real thing that's happening currently you guys have all heard about what's gone on in the news with the recent death of George Floyd I hope I said his name fully correct but that's been like weighing on my heart it's oh my gosh like it's just so devastating to think that this kind of stuff still happens like just I'm left speechless because I just can't even fathom why this stuff is happening or why the color of our skin is not good enough like why why you know it's just a lot of a whole lot of questions you know I felt the need to talk about this because even though I live in Canada and it's not I'm not in the US where it's like predominantly happening all the time this whole racism and not being black you know black people not being liked all around the world is like a it's a universal thing and it definitely unites us so when I see like my fellow brothers or you know sisters um, being wrongfully treated it just breaks my heart and it's just devastating now this incident this recent incident happened in Minneapolis and I've explained my story here and there but a lot of you guys don't know a lot like I have family that actually lived there and when I heard and saw what happened like I had to look closely on the image to ensure that that wasn't like a brother of mine or a relative of mine and it's so heart-wrenching to feel like oh my gosh and just even seeing the images of what happens to him, happen to him, like I, it's hard to get them from my mind, you know, because how can someone treat another person like that? I heard this was all over a fake $10 bill. I don't even know the backstory fully of it, but it's like, I, it, you don't, it, who cares? Arrest him, handcuff him, do whatever you need to do appropriately treating him with kindness and the same way you would treat other people arrest him give him the fair chance to plead his case to whether you you know what i mean like but to step in the man's throat and literally suffocate him like on the spot i just don't understand why this stuff keeps happening and how we get to that point it's it's getting harder and harder to deal with and all one can do is just pray it just breaks my heart and when I think about everyone and like even like just in the US like you guys who are such you know you guys that are supporting my channel your families your sons your your brothers your uncles your your um, husbands like your family and your dads like having to possibly endure stuff like that or having to walk around with fear in their hearts or having to you know just not getting a the a fair treatment not getting equal treatment in life because of just the color of their skin and constantly being um targeted as a criminal it wasn't like it was just like a, a month ago um ahmed uh, I can't even remember his last name who was killed by those other men because he was just running through a neighborhood and oh my gosh he is black so he therefore he's a criminal because he's running through a neighborhood where black people aren't supposed to live like black, black people are supposed to stay in the hood and you know he's running through an affluent might I say Caucasian neighborhood so he just doesn't belong there and there's been a series of robberies and automatically he just fits this script. Like, he, he would be the one that fits because he is black. 
like I am just I'm just besides myself it's just it's just I can only imagine like if I feel like this and I feel this like wounded about it I can only imagine what it feels like to live so much closer to it and to like how his family you know like people have to remember that this is not even just like this one guy like he lost his life on account of it but now his all those that are super close to him to his family his friends they they have to feel the domino effect not to mention the rest of the black people that are around especially those living in America it's just and all I can do is just keep praying and praying and praying for just some kind of miracle for this kind of stuff to stop because it could just it's just like why can't we be good enough like why and I could say oh my gosh I'm good enough I know I'm good enough and that's just me saying that to myself but the the thing is other people aren't perceiving us as good enough and I don't understand why we can't let that get us down we can't let that just keep us you know keep we, we we still have to keep pushing through and we have to fight and we have to stand up and we have to speak out and that's why I'm doing this today because you know I tr I want to share so many things on here but real life is real life and I this stuff is happening around us and I don't want to skip over it like it didn't happen it, it would be hard to especially because it, it it's it's a tough one to deal with and there have been many tough ones to deal with all those other people who lost their lives it's been hard watching hearing seeing you just don't even want to watch the news but yet you still want to because you want to know what's going on it's just hard I don't even know where to go with this but I just want to let you guys know that for you know I'm I am thinking about you all, you and your families and your loved ones, and just praying that you will all be safe and just reminding you that don't let this just keep us hostage because it's so easy to, it's so easy to live in fear because this stuff is scary. It's scary when your safety is in danger. It's scary when you don't know how to dress to fit the part it's scary you how you can't you have to make sure you're on your p's and q's you can't have anything wrong you can't ever have a tail light out you can't ever have your license or your drive your your license plate expire for a day you can't ever have anything like that you can't fit this you can't fit into a profile like you just can't you have to be like perfect Meanwhile, on the other side, like I've gone through, you know, I've seen so many videos about different things and then I see a lot of, like, people in the feeds, Caucasian people saying, oh my gosh, like, I've been pardoned so many times by the police. And they're saying it in support to be like, yeah, people are being, you know, we know that African Americans are being targeted because, you know, I've been pardoned by the police. I've been slapped on the wrist. I've done this and I've done that and I get pardoned all the time. So it's just... You know, we know what's happening. We know what's happening and it's just, it's hard to not be like swallowed whole by it and not be like in a deep depression, but we still have to pull through and we still have to press on and just, you know, give God thanks for another day and just stay prayed up. Pray over your family, pray over your kids, pray over your loved ones, pray over your husband, pray over everyone you know and love that is of color because, and just, yeah, because it's like you just don't ever know. So anyways, that's a big part of what's been kind of holding me back. I have, you know, I do have another video um, filmed because I went to my ultrasound and stuff, but I'm not going to talk about it on here. I have some actually exciting videos filmed, but it was just hard to post them because although I filmed them and I was talking, it's so hard that the excitement isn't there. The excitement wasn't there to push them out because I'm like, this deserves a moment and that's why I wanted to post this. It's 
trying to think of how I want to deliver this video. I feel like, like there's just no right way to deliver it. There's no organization. It's just me speaking my mind. So I hope you guys understood that and just can hear what I'm saying. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback, your take, what's just what's on your heart, like how you're dealing with this all. I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. And if you thought this video was there was any value to this video, I don't know if there was because I'm just sharing my opinion. But I just want to share. I just still want to encourage you guys. If you found that there was any value in this, definitely share it if you can because I think it's you know we have to con continue to uplift and support um, one an and encourage one another. That's all we can do, right? I also want to say stay tuned for another video that I have. So honestly, throughout the end of the end of this week, it's probably going to be a series of sit down videos because I have another hot hot topic that I wanted to talk about that. I, I'm just kind of puzzled by it and I really just don't know how to react and it's worth sharing with you guys because I'd love to hear your feedback on it too. It's just, it's just weird. So stay tuned for that. It should actually come following this video and then, and then I can, you know, kind of lift the spirits of the channel by sharing some of the exciting stuff that I had prepared <laughs> and still you know I will still reveal uh, thank you so much for watching if you like if you're new definitely hit the subscribe button y'all um, and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big like and just if you don't have anything to say in the comment section just even send a little heart down there do something to just um, just show your love and your support and your positivity so and until next time much love y'all bye